Nico here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to Costco, not for groceries but for plants. Yes, we're doing plant shopping at Costco. So here's the story. About a week ago, I saw a post on Facebook. Someone found a huge basket of alligator fried egg at their local Costco. The leaves are like big. And the price also very affordable, um, way cheaper than picking up that size of allocation fried egg at local nursery. I got so excited, so I called my local Costco, but they keep saying that, oh, they have them in order, not available in store yet. And today I call, they are finally here. I'm gonna go and of course take you guys with me, check them out. But before we get started, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. I will talk more about them later in the video. All right, let's go. Thank you so much Costco for bringing so many beautiful plants. My eyes are staring at this beautiful Alocasia fried egg. Wow, look at this leaf. It is huge, super, super velvety, and the veining, it just looks so sexy. And compared to my hand, hand test, wow. And there are so many plants in one pot. Did I talk about the price? All right, let's check the price real quick. This is the Tech 8 inch assorted indoor foliage for $49.99. If you cannot find it at your local Costco, here is the item ID. So give them a call before you head over. Ask them if they can check the availability for you. All right, back to our fried egg. Oh, I love it so much. Do you know how expensive they are at my local nurseries? Like a eight inch alocasia fried egg can easily cost $30. And this one is only $49.99 they are in a very nice very beautiful basket um, and they're actually in a self watering pot it makes the watering very easy especially if you are a beginner oh my gosh I am thinking should I get a fried egg <laughs> this guy does love high humidity but it's so pretty. I don't know. I need time to think about it. All right, besides the fry deck, they also have some very beautiful, very thick, ZZ plants. I love a good size ZZ plant. Look at that. After you take it home, you do need to clean the foliage a little bit and you will see the shine. And look at how thick the stems are. Oh my gosh, thicker than my thumb. <laughs> Way thicker than my thumb. ZZ plant is so easy to care for. They're super hardy. And in summertime, I love to put my ZZ plant outdoor because they will give me a lot of new shoot. If you put your ZZ plant outdoor, uh, just make sure don't give them too much direct light because their leaves can get yellow. And they also have some very classic, very beautiful ficus burgundy. I love a good sized ficus burgundy. I think they're so underrated. I love the dark foliage. It's just so different than the other plants. And this leaf is huge. Let's do a hand test. Pretty. And there are multiple plants in one pot, so let's count. One, two, three, four. Four plants in this pot. Wow, it's so beautiful. They have some huge alocasia. They are very tall. When I look at them from this angle, oh my gosh. I love the back of the leaves. Very, very beautiful. And they look very, very healthy. I just asked my husband to take one of these down. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. And this is a new leaf. Wow, this is soft. 
This pop-up color is so pretty. This leaf is perfect. This leaf is perfect as well. And this leaf. Wow. And there are, let me see, two plants in one pot. So pretty. And then they have this alocasia. I also asked my husband to take one down for me. I don't know what variety this one is, but I love the beautiful heart-shaped leaf. If you guys know what variety this one is, please let me know in the comment section. It's so pretty. They also have the snake plants. In my opinion, $49.99 is not cheap. And there are several varieties here. I would say fried egg would worth your money if you are good with alocasia. And this plant also very beautiful. Although I don't know what kind of plant it is, but I don't think you can find it cheaper at your local nurseries, especially with a very nice basket and they are in a self-watering pot. Um, the ZZ plants, I don't think there are a lot of plants in one pot. So I think I will pass the ZZ plant. I think it's a very fair price for ficus burgundy, but definitely a good deal for these two. The fried egg and this unknown alocasia. I am back. I didn't pick up anything this time, but I have to say that fried egg and the unknown alocasia, they were so tempting, so beautiful. If you're looking for them, maybe give your Costco a call, ask them the availability. They might be able to share with you if they have them in stock or if they have them order when they will arrive. They are usually pretty helpful. And last but not least, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community taught by experts with thousands of inspiring classes so you can learn new skills and do new things. They have a lot of classes and topics for you to choose from such as business analytics, photography, and graphic design. I recently took a class called Everyday Minimalism, Find Calm and Creativity in Living Simply by Erin Boyle. She shares her flexible approach to minimalism and her tips and tricks to get you started right away. From opting out of consumer pressure to coming up with your own crafty DIY solutions. The class is so fun and I've learned a lot. Starting today, the first 1,000 people to click my link in the description will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare Premium. There are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It's such a good way to grow and learn new things at your own pace. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so that you will not miss out any of my future videos. I'm also active on Facebook and Instagram. I post my plan finds there right away. So feel free to connect with me there. All right, my name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.